Okay, so I did get a successful flight. I did a couple of flights with the drone. One, I tried to make a, an audio track for it, but I don't know how that's going to work out. I think, you know, with trying to operate the drone and doing an audio track at the same time, it's uh, maybe a bit too much for me at this point because I'm not that good yet. And besides, I have to deal with gusty winds here, although I never got a warning. I never got a warning on the screen about the winds being too high, so I never got any warnings on the screen, so that was good. Um, you can hear the wind though, I'm sure you can hear it on the camera's microphone. It does pick up now and again, and then it dies down. So uh, it's hard to predict winds like that. I got out there um, about uh, 1,700 feet, that last video I did with the drone. I got right over the area, the, the area of the river and where it goes into a little sort of pond area. That's where I have to paddle into to get to the next lake. So when the ice thaws here, when the ice is all gone, I'll get my little kayak in here again and uh, see if I can get over there and get up that river and uh, go through the bush to see where that next lake is, see if I can get through there. Anyways. You know, it is what it is. I mean, I can only do so much today because I can't uh, do anything until the lake thaws out. But it's nice. I mean, it's nice enough. There's, It's still pretty cool. I mean, <laughs> for this time of the year, we haven't really seen that much uh, warm weather. Some years we get nice warm weather in March. But uh, this year, boy, we got kicked in the ass r real bad through the winter and in the spring. Yeah, and we're still getting kicked, really, because we're getting, uh, well, two or three nice days now, but then it's going to start raining. So, uh, what can you do? Like, when it rains, I can't do anything. Um, I can drive, but that's about it. Uh, but, anyways, I'm glad to have these few nice days now. Um, I might uh, do some different hikes now, now that we've got some nice days. I want to get back up to um, the, uh, what was it? Well, I wanted to check out the Boland Road. I don't know if, uh, if it's still got ice or snow on it. I want to see if they did anything with that bridge in there, because the bridge was, as far as I'm concerned, impassable. I wouldn't drive a car across it, or a truck or anything. But um, I wanted to go up to uh, the, uh... <laughs> gee, I'm trying to think of the name, sometimes, you know, it's just, it, it, you you got a mind block, and I, I mean, I know the name, but I, it just won't come into my head. Um, oh yeah, Camp 8. The Camp 8 uh, trail, the road goes in, well, it's not really a road, it's more like a trail, Camp 8 road, because uh, I, was, I was thinking about, uh, it'd be a good uh, place to do a backpacking trip in there, but first, I'd have to be able to get across uh, a river. It's only a small river, but um, I'm pretty sure it's probably flowing good now with the runoff. But uh, th they took the bridge out of there, and the bridge is still lying on the side of the, the uh, bank there. But it's really heavy. It's made out of, well, at least one telephone pole and other stuff. There's no way anybody would be able to pick it up. Maybe a bunch of people, ten people. But, um, yeah... I, I want to see if I could get across there because once you get across that uh, little river there, the trail goes for a long, long ways. So it would make a good backpacking trip. Anyways, that's one of the things I wanted to check out. I don't know what I'm going to do because usually when I get up in the morning, I just decide to do whatever I want to do at that, that moment, you know. I just think about that, those kind of things ahead of time. Anyways, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, well, my stuff I got packed up already. Uh, I have three of these uh, these type of backpacks. I got three of them for different purposes. That happens to be my um, drone backpack that I have with me today. I have a black one, and the black one is my camera backpack. Uh, and I have a, a sort of a green one, brownish, sort of brownish green, I guess. And that one's my hiking backpack. So, yeah, that's the story there. I never did find my other hiking stick that I lost up here. <laughs> I looked around for it, but I never did find it. Maybe someone else found it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to get ready to head out of here now. So 
I put another battery in this camera and it seems to be going good so far. We'll see how it goes on the way out. Let's go.